أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه إن شاء الله we are starting from where we stopped last night we began with the explanation of the first statement al iman qawl wa amal yazid wa yanqus iman is found in the statement and it is found in our action our deeds yazid it increases wa yanqus and it decreases so yesterday we gave the two types of al amal that is action we said we have amal al qalb the action of the heart wa amal al jawarih and the action of the other parts of the body like the hand the legs and other parts we also gave two types of al qawl we said qawl al qalb the utterance of the heart and the second type is qawl al lisan the utterance of the tongue so this utterance of the tongue i'm not sure i said this yesterday it is very important it is through this utterance of the tongue that one can be classified as muslim it is important one believes that there is no deity worthy of worship except allah by the heart with the heart it is also compulsory when one believes in his heart to hotter to say it out that is why inshallah we let me don't uh, go beyond uh, the scope we shall we shall explain that as time goes on uh inshallah today we'll be discussing the first statement improper yazid wa yankus can be found in that statement as well Yazid means our iman can increase. Wa yankus, our iman can decrease. Ay al-ulama alladhi adraka Abu Hatim al-ulama alladhin adraka Abu Hatim wa Abu Zur'a the scholars that Abu Hatim and Abu Zur'a they witnessed ya'taqiduna anna al-imana yazidu wa yanqus their belief is that our iman our faith our creed decreases and in and, and increases yazidu bi ta'ati our faith increases by obedience to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa yanqusu bil ma'siyati and it decreases by disobeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the moment we begin to obey Allah, we'll be having the sweetness of faith within us. Our heart begins to, to taste the sweetness of, uh, of, uh, of iman, I mean, of faith. But the moment we begin to disobey Allah, then we will realize that our heart will not be settled. So when we obey Allah, al-iman yazid. When we disobey Allah, al-iman yankus. It decreases. فَإِذَا فَعَلَ طَاعَةً When a servant of Allah does one obedient act of the deed, زَادَ إِمَانُهُ His iman, his faith increases. وَإِذَا فَعَلَ مَعْصِيَةً When a servant of Allah commits a sin, نَقَصَ إِمَانُهُ His faith does what? It reduces. So this is the meaning of الْإِمَانُ قَوْلٌ وَعَمَلٌ يَزِيد وَيَنْقُسْ Faith is found in our utterance, is found in our action, it decreases and increases. Yazid, we cannot, we cannot add it to that statement. Yazid بِالطَّوَعَ وَيَنْقُسْ بِالْمَعْصِيَةِ It increases with obedience to Allah and decreases with disobedience to Allah. Now, why do we say this? You know, everything we have to say and do in islam must be based upon evidence right what are the evidences that attest 
to the fact that Iman decreases and increases. First of them, in Surah Al-Anfal, verses 2 to 4, Allah Azza wa Jal says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Indeed, the believers, الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ In which, when they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts will be what? Will be softened with fear. Like, وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts will be softened with fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ When they recite the verses of Allah, of, of Al-Quran, for them, زَادَتْهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا That recitation of the verses of Al-Quran that Allah revealed to the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the recitation will make their iman to do what? So, can you see that iman increases, right? We can, we can bring it out there. Zadathum imanan. That obedience, that recitation of the Quran, of the verses of Allah, will make their iman to what? To increase. Wa'ala rabbihim yatawakkalun. And they rely upon their Lord. Allah says, continues, that alladhina yuqimuna salah. Those are the people that observe their salah. وَمِمَّا رَزَقُنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And from what we gave them, what we provided for them, يُنْفِقُونَ They are also spending it in the cause of Allah. أُولَائِكِ These people that we are talking about. هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقًّا They are the real believers. لَهُمْ دَرَجَاتٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ They have ranks before their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَغْفِرَةٌ And forgiveness is for them. وَرِزْكٌ كَرِيمٌ And provision that is surplus is also for them. Now, what we want to say here is that we can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of زَادَتْ هُمْ إِيمَانًا That remembrance of Allah makes their iman to do what? To increase. الْإِيمَانُ قَوْلٌ وَعَمَلٌ يَزِيد وَيَنْقُسْ So, that is... You know, reciting the Qur'an is a, is a form of obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So when you do that, you feel an increase in Iman. Another verse of the Qur'an that attests to the fact that Iman decreases and increases is uh, Surah At-Tawbah, verses 124 to 125. Allah says, وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ Whenever we sent a particular surah فَمِنْهُمْ Among them مَنْ يَقُولُ أَيُّكُمْ زَادَتْهُ هَذِهِ إِيمَانًا Among them we say Who amongst you is Who amongst you Who among you Does this verse make his iman to increase? Who among you does this verse make his iman to increase? فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who believe فَزَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا That verse will make their iman to increase. وَهُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ And they will be happy. They will be joyous. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضْ But those who have sickness in their hearts, who have ailment in their hearts, فَزَادَتْهُمْ رِجِزًا Subhanallah. That will increase them in, in filth. You know, when the heart becomes more dirty and dirty and darkened. إِلَىٰ رِجْزِهِمْ Upon their field. وَمَا وَاهُمْ وَمَاتُوا وَهُمْ كَافِرُونَ And they will die as disbelievers. So this is one of the, the, some of the evidences that attest to the fact that Al-Iman increases and decreases. It increases with, remember, uh, with obeying Allah and decreases with uh, disobeying Allah. Allah. So, inshallah, where I will run tonight's uh, class of is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet uh, made it clear in the hadith that was reported by al-imam Muslim in Kitabul iman Rakmu 35. We can check it. Kitabul iman in his book, Sahih Muslim. So, the hadith goes thus. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, al-imanu bid'un 
وَسَبْعُونَ شُعْبَ Iman, fifth, is 70-something branches. Bid'un, in Arabic language. Al-Arab, mawjuduna huna. Bid'un, min al-thalatha ila al-ashr. Right? So from three to like ten or nine. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Iman can be categorized into 70-something branches. So 70-something could be 73, 74, 75. Wallahu alam. Wa fi in another narration, the Prophet says, Bidi'un wa situna shu'ba. 60-something. Okay? Fa afdaluha, the best of them. The most precious of them, of this, uh, okay. these branches. Qawlu la ilaha illallah is the statement that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And that is what we are discussing here. That is the, 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 the point of discussion or the focal point, which is aqidah. That is the best, the most precious of all the branches of an iman. Wa adenaha. The least of them, the least of them, when you see something that is injurious on your way, you remove it. It is funny. Perhaps, maybe as you're going home, you step on maybe something and you get injured. Then you, you get hungry. Who put this thing there? I will not be the only one that will be injured with this thing. Not place that thing at the middle of the... At least people will pass. This is not what Islam teaches. Even if you, are, if you get injured through that thing, it is upon you to take it away and place it somewhere. That it will not injure, uh, injure anybody. Now, uh, Sheikh Usaymin, rahmatullahi alayhi, he said something. If imatatul adha and it tariq, Removing something that is injurious from the way, from the road, is part of the branches of uh, Iman. Then, what will then be throwing something that is injurious on the road? You know, sometimes we may drink uh, Coke, the can, bam. What again? Uh, something that, is, that you, th maybe banana, the peel of banana, bam. And you know that it will definitely, if someone steps on it, it may be injurious. That is also part of Iman. If removing such thing, um, sorry, and uh, not throwing those things on the road is part of Iman. If removing them is Iman, then throwing them on the on the uh, on some on people's way too is not is not uh, is not something Islam teaches. So it's going to be part of Iman. So I just chipped this this in so that we can also benefit from uh, the. The word of our scholar, Sheikh Ibn Faymin, rahmatullahi alayhi. Lastly, walhaya, uh, bashfulness. You know, to have uh, bashfulness, right? Shu'ubatun is a branch, min al-iman, from al-iman. So, we can see, but it, it will, we'll explain this in our subsequent class, insha'Allah. Shahadatu, that is, it, it has to do with what? The heart. Amalullah. Amalul qalb. So that is la ilaha illallah. The next one, imatotul ada and it tariq. Amalul jawari. Because you have to use your hand to take it. Al haya min al iman. So all these are, are the things that was mentioned in the Quran and in the Sunnah as regards to al imanu qawlun wa amalun. Yazidu wa yankus. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to increase us in iman and to be our guide in all uh, aspects of our, our life. I mean.